Good afternoon. It is Sunday, October 1st. October. I can't believe it's October already. Uh, I haven't vlogged in the past few days. Just been really busy with the, our new schedules and just all these errands and things I've got to do for the club, for um, the girls, for myself, for work. I'm just so, so crazy. Let me just run, run kind of what's going on in my life this weekend. So volleyball camp just ended. So that was a relief, you know, just to take something off my plate. And then school volleyball started. So both girls will be playing for their school teams. So the only stress about that is getting them to their games and then getting them to their practices. So you gotta add those practice days to the schedule. Secondly, we are still working on getting our gyms for our volleyball team. We are starting our new quarter, so we have our gyms set for our basketball teams from October through December, so that's a relief. I don't know if you remember I said that we had to go camp out for that, and so we got all our spots. So we're good for basketball to December, but now volleyball's coming. So volley volleyball tryouts will be coming this later this month, and I'm trying to lock down our gyms for our season between January, well, it looks like it's going to be November, December through May. So I'm trying to lock down all the gyms for that. To have a tentative team, but we still have to go through tryouts. So I'm trying to organize tryouts. I need to make a flyer, which I've already started. I can't send them out until I lock down our gyms. So until that happens, that flyer can come out. So hopefully I can get, we can get that done um, by tomorrow and then I could send out the flyer for our tryouts and then I could scratch that off my list what else is on my list my main my mind is so scattered right now I'm just so lost of course the vlogging's on my list and I I don't even remember the last time I vlogged I am supposed to be editing right now to put out something on Monday uh, and I have not done any editing yet and it is four o'clock and I have a practice, basketball practice at six to eight o'clock. And so uh, there may be a chance that the vlog for tomorrow might not come up. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm trying to be really consistent with it, but you're probably not gonna find this out till later. <laughs> Since this gets posted a f either a few days or a week later, but this will be the reason why nothing came out on Monday or a few weeks ago. My wife went out with her for, with her friends. They usually do this every year. They went to Ventura. So I think that's probably what added another uh, uh, element of uh, busyness was that I didn't have her here to help uh, take care of the kids. Although the kids are in, independent, I you know, you, there's still things that you have to help them with. like you know what to eat and trying to get them to study and and uh, get them to do their chores so I think that was just kind of an added thing to my plate where I normally rely on my wife to to do that so that's kind of I think that's what also added to the the busyness of my schedule getting oh and then they also wanted to 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 buy some stuff and and do stuff so I had to take them there um, so that you know eats up into your time what else work is work you know I I try not to think about work during the weekend so I don't think about work till Sunday evening Monday morning so it's been busy uh, one of our co-workers was on vacation so I had a full load of patience the whole week and uh, no time to breathe. Also juggling the practices, uh, our basketball practice and our last volleyball camp uh, day, I think just was a little, over it was overwhelming. Another task I had to scratch off the list was this fundraiser that our team is part of. One of our family members in our team has a fundraiser for their daughter. It's called Doing It For do it for Delaney. I'm sorry, I always say doing it for Delaney. And the girls always correct me. Do it for Delaney. So we're trying to trying to recruit as many of our team girls to participate in this. So that was another thing that I had to make sure I did is send an email out to parents and making sure that they get registered. Because uh, I want to make sure that, that we participate in um, to help out our, our friend Delaney. Uh, so 
I'll definitely have footage of that uh, in the next couple of weeks. It's the fundraiser is in October or in three weeks from now. So, so we gotta get to make sure that we get all the all the girls and parents of the our club team to participate in this fundraiser. So that was another thing I had to make sure we did. One more thing, I my phone broke, so I had a Samsung Five. And I was kind of riding it for as long as I could, and then unfortunately, it, I dropped it and it broke. So I had to get a new phone. I ended up getting the Samsung 7. I know the 8 is out, but I didn't see good reviews on it, and I don't really need a new, like, fancy phone. I would have been happy with another S5, but they don't make the S5. Just ended up getting another Samsung S7. So I wanted to try and vlog on it too and see the difference. So we'll probably maybe do a comparison between this. Um, old Canon I have and the Samsung 7. Uh, I'll probably see a difference. Hopefully there's no difference. I'm imagining there's not uh, for my for my purpose of vlogging uh, but just be interesting to see because I didn't even think of using my phone my phone to vlog. I was using a, this Canon camera um, that I, I think is meant for more picture taking but when I was reviewing this it was a nice starter camera for vlogging. So definitely we'll vlog a little bit more on the S7. Maybe that'll actually get me to vlog a little bit more, make it easier for me to vlog now that I have the a phone to vlog with. What else? So I got the, the phone, dealt with all the errands, did all the club stuff. Last Wednesday, we had a meeting with, um, since my daughter's in eighth grade, we met with the eighth grade teacher and she, he was kind of guiding us on the next few months of uh, Rachel's uh, eighth grade year because since she's applying to private school, um, it's a little bit, there's a little bit more steps than just applying to the local school. So to make sure that she's doing well in school, this semester's grades are gonna count. She has to prepare for an entry exam to these schools. She needs to visit school, make sure that the schools that she's uh, interested in is, is something that she really is interested in. So she's been shadowing a lot of private high schools in the area. So adding that to our plate, uh, the stress of her going through applications and preparing her, keeping her on track, hasn't been very difficult. I'll be honest, I'm that that doesn't stress me out. So I don't even know why I'm saying it. But the, I think the reason why I'm saying this is there was a picture that um, my wife posted on on Facebook a, f a few weeks ago during her uh, her shadowing of one of the schools and. I don't know. For some reason, things changed when I saw this picture of her and this school. And it, and it, it's not the school. It's not the you know the. It's just this whole process. I remember last year in seventh grade, we were already. Okay, now uh, Rachel just came into the room. Okay, so that I gave you. I think you're getting a sense of kind of what, uh, how my past few days has been. It's just, um, it's just when you you get on a roll and doing something, and then you get interrupted, and then and then you lose track, and then uh, hopefully you parents understand uh, where I'm coming from. Um, doing my best. I know I'll get through it. It's just right now it feels just like a stressful time. Anyways, what I was talking about. So I was talking about this picture that I. Uh, it, that Cheryl shared with me on Facebook or shared with our Facebook, put on Facebook. And it was a picture of Rachel posing in front of the schools. And like I said, it, doesn't, it didn't matter. It doesn't matter the school. I think my thinking changed when I saw that picture for some reason. I don't know why. It just, it just changed. So I used to think when Rachel was in seventh grade and talking about schools and how she wanted to go to private school and go through this application process that uh, we used to, you know, hey, you got to do good in school. You, you know, you got to make sure you're doing not just well in school, but you also have to um, stand out. So you have to do extracurricular activities. Uh, you have to do well on your placement tests. You have to just be a well-rounded complete person because it's very competitive to get into these schools so i remember sharing with parents like well, you know hopefully you do your best and i know she does she does her best but 
hopefully we get in. I remember that was the whole thing with parents. Hopefully she gets in. Hopefully you get in. We'll pray that you get in. But when I saw this picture, my thinking just changed. Rachel's really, really good girl. She studies hard. She tries her best. She plays basketball and volleyball for me in our club, and she plays for the school, and she is she does well. She tries her hardest, even though she, you know she's um, not as gifted as some of the, of the other girls. But she's she's paved her way and made herself a, a great player who uh, does not back down. You know, despite her petite frame, she she plays with the big girls and holds her own. Um, she gives her best effort. She tries hard in practice. She pays attention. She's typically not a one that you know, distracts me during practice or the coaches. She's usually typically the more behaved, just hardworking, uh, does her best in sports. Uh, she's also part of drama and her experiences in the arts, which is makes her even more well-rounded. School, she does everything on her own. She does gets good grades. We we don't help her at all. She she does her homework, turns it in with, without even asking us to look at it, does her papers prepares for her test, balances school, practice, all her activities, and still gets good grades, and still comes to practice, and still competes for her teams, still goes to practice during drama, and you know performs in the plays. So I guess I'm just really proud of her. So when I saw this picture, I was just telling myself, why, why am I stressing out? You know, she's she's done she's done a she's been a great daughter a great student um, a great friend and at this point if the school she applies to don't accept her to me it's their loss if they don't want girls like that or kid children like that then it's their loss i know i'm a proud dad i know i support my girls a lot but that's and maybe we're put in a situation right now where all the schools that she is applying to are great schools. Even if she goes into gets in, if she doesn't get into the school and goes to the public school, which is one of her high choices, I'm happy with that because I know she's a good girl and I know she'll try hard. I know she'll succeed in every in any school she goes to. So at this point, if she gets in and doesn't get in, whatever. Okay. So uh, it's just interesting to to sh to see that. I I just remember when I saw this picture of her I was just, just like, and I, I'll share the picture with you I was just like yeah I, I don't think I have anything to worry about you know I'm I know she's gonna try hard I mean the neck the only worry I have, uh, worry I have is you know she's gonna be going to a bigger school so bringing back 13 reasons why you know it's all that social stuff I think that I'm more stressful about but I'm gonna do my part you know to let her live and but also protect her uh, but i th what i found that w is more helpful um, for me is i think i'm going to be you know really involved i want to and i'm a pretty social person so i want to meet the parents i want to meet her friends uh, if they want to hang out i want them hanging out here not so that i can watch them just so i can meet them and know them and then know their parents that i think to me that is what would make me comfortable uh, knowing who the people she's hanging out with i'm academically she's gonna she's gonna it's gonna be challenging the freshman year, her freshman year who doesn't get challenged right so that's gonna be part of it hopefully hopefully she'll get through that uh, transition quickly and then just be on her way for high school so in any school i think she's going to experience the same type of things. Um, I just want her to get into the school that she wants to get into. And it, hopefully she does. And if she doesn't, you know, whatever. You know, it's their loss, not hers. I think what I'm stressed about is um, I hope she gets what she wants. I hope she gets into the school that she really wants to get into because I think she deserves it. I think they would gain a a great student athlete i think she would she would represent that school very very well so that's i think the only thing i'm stressed out about because i just i just want her to see her happy and i know that's work she's working hard for uh, but if you don't accept her 
screw you. <laughs> you, you don't deserve her then, because someone else is going to gain such a great person. Okay, this is the first time I've ever vlogged on this phone, my new phone. But I wanted to make sure that we, I didn't bring my camera. So, Dunkin' Donuts came to our area, the West Coast, I think. This is the one of the first Dunkin' Donuts here. So let's see what they got.